Hello everyone, Experimenter19 here and today I'm going to make show you how to make a paper sniper rifle. I already have a video on my channel, parts 1 and 2 of how to make a paper sniper rifle. If you want to go and watch them, but the quality of them isn't that good and I'm basically making an updated better quality version since I have a better camera now and and that's basically what's going on. I'm going to make a better version or a better quality version. I'm actually recording this on a tripod. I've already made one the other day, and now it's just because uh, I haven't done it. In the... What I love about this design that I'm work that I'm using is because it's basically extremely simple. It's ex it's actually extremely simple, and it's a very customizable one. It sorry if it seems a little dark. Basically, what you want to do is like all paper gun videos. You want to make a little tube. You want to make a tube that's going to be like your starting point. And you want to make sure this is as uniform as possible. Make sure both ends are like the same size. You don't want it to be like slightly cone shaped because that is like not good. You may have to re-roll it like this. You may have to do this a couple times because I have to do this from time to time on my videos. I even, if you haven't seen my previous sniper builds where I have a, I made a Dragonoff sniper rifle and I also made a paper AK which I'm very proud of if you haven't tried those if you haven't seen them go watch them out I might actually make a paper suppressor in the future yes you heard me an actual it doesn't have the same function as a real life suppressor but it's more of a way just to make it look good and the only downside of the paper sniper rifle is that you kind of have to reinforce the barrel. If you, you'd have to, you'd understand once I show you, because that thing gets pretty heavy. Plus, I made the lightweight version, which I haven't tested. Well, I have made one lightweight version, but I gotta mess around with it to see if it works the time. But anyway, basically, you're gonna want to make this. You want to make like uh, about ten tubes for this design, and I will. Pause the video and come back to it later when I'm done making this. Oh, sorry, you're just gonna want to do this. Um, Oh, I forgot to show you something that you could do to keep this from being tight, but then again, this is a great learning opportunity right here. Something I like to do is you want to do this to make sure the tube isn't too tight or something like that, because this is going to be your main one, and this one's a little tight, no pun intended. Yeah, I know you guys are going to make it. You guys are going to go for it. No, that, actually, we can use that one that I just messed up for later for when I make the stock. I had this, I did this one idea of a stock a few years ago where that was kind of big and bulky, and I'm making a short stock, if you will, that's like more compact. Basically, you want to make sure it's like not too tight. It comes in and out easily, and if you have to, just loosen it up a little bit. Something I might actually do with this model is I might actually add a little thing on the end of it to make it basically like a tripod piece, if you will. And my camera's about to die. So, basically you have these up. You have one thing you want to make about a dozen of these bigger ones. And I will come back to that later when I'm done. Okay, we're back and I just made all the tubes using that we needed for the paper sniper build. And to prove that these are the ones like 
I showed you how to make one in the previous one and we basically need to take this and sure this is the work. I'm gonna be ticked. Uh yeah, some why is this whenever I need it to work the one time? See? You wanna make sure they're all pretty loose, stuff like that. What's the word? Dang it. And something I might do to do this is I might actually add a scope or something or maybe a little actually uh, there's something I've been working on like what you want to do is you want to take a couple of tubes and make sure they're straight or put them together and you want to look down them and make sure that they are aligned because so basically what you want to do is you want to if you can kind of want to make sure they're aligned as close as you can possibly get and you're going to want to take some tape like maybe a piece this long which is like two two three inches you're going to put it on one of these ends and you're going to put the other one and you're going to try to align it as close as you can possibly get it and you just kind of want you don't want any overlapping pieces or any pieces sticking up because that is um because if you have any pieces that are like you see like a little bubble here if you can see it, there's a bubble. That is not good, because that is, I mean that, that is basically a space where the piece of paper can move and can cause misalignment, which is not good. As you can see, we have to get it off now and do another one. Like, if we have a bubble, you may have to do it again. Like, just if you want to cover it up. Because you don't want these bubbles. Because that is basically a place weakness, and that'll allow it to move and just align. You may have to do this for some of them. And when you tape them, you want to make sure that it's as straight as possible. If you can see it. Then you want to do another one and basically do this. And the, the only one you really have to be, you have to make sure that it's straight at the barrel piece, the part where you're actually going to be shooting from. That's the only one that really matters because then the other ones, it doesn't really matter how aligned, if you align them or not. You can if you want, but technically you don't have to because it doesn't really matter. And now I'm kind of going through all the different ones to make sure I need to find the right one that's aligned perfectly or as close as I can possibly get it. I may need to do the other side. Sorry about that. And at the time of this recording, no, never mind. I'll I'll do that later. Make sure to check out my Facebook and Twitter for any news and stuff. And if I can get this together. Basically, we have our barrel piece. Mm. 
It doesn't have to be completely straight, but as straight as you can possibly get it. And then that's the barrel piece. And now we're just gonna take three pieces and I need to find the one that's, that fits inside the other ones, yep. And basically we're gonna make another one that goes beneath it uh, to kind of straighten it out. So just take any ones that you like. And the reason why we have so many is because those are more of like a customization process. You know, like little bonus pieces because you're gonna have to cut some together in case you mess up or something. Basically, we have this second one, we have the barrel piece, and we have this one. And the way it works is, oh, sorry, I need to. Basically, we have our barrel piece. We have our barrel piece, and we just kind of want to put it on top of the other one, and we just kind of want to make this, like, style of it, where you see where it basically has something to strengthen itself on, to tie it to to tape it to and then we're gonna take three pieces of tape and we're gonna tape it down but you want to check it out first to see where you want to like hold it like this and see where you want it to be so you know how far away you want it to be like you want to check this out but I will say like the bigger you are the more it's hard to de describe you'll understand it when you try to do it yourself I like to do the middle first just because then it's easier and I'm not having one flapping around in the wind. And you don't want to do this super tight, you just kind of want to do this. Like, because you don't, because if you do it like tight, because then it's going to be compressed and that can be a spot where your bullet stops. Sorry about the angling and stuff because I'm using a tripod and I only have the one camera. Okay, now that you have your piece set up, now we're gonna get started on the stock. Actually, scratch that. Now we're gonna find out where, now that we have our barrel, you wanna make a little cut, and we're gonna actually make a cut to load it, and I find you could do completely on the side, like I did, but I decided to do it like where it's just kind of in the middle and on top, where I'll show you, but what you wanna do next is to make sure you know where it is, you want to take your other piece, like the inner, the tube that actually you're going to be using to reload. And you're just going to want to make sure it's the right end, and you basically want to know where your bullet is. Um, hold on, let me move something. Here, this will help. to help you out or something like that. Basically, I want it to be right around here like whenever I hold it up to my fa to my face. And oh, I got a Today we're going to do the barrel part or the chamber and it's going to basically what you want to do is you want to take like a little pen or something like this. And basically you want to find a spot like where you want it to be because I like to, I want mine to be right around here. Basically you want to make a spot and you want to kind of mark it. And where you want to put, like that'll be like one piece right there if you can. 
Let me make it bigger for you guys to see. Right there. Basically that could be one end of the barrel and I want it to be like, I'm holding it up with like, yeah, I want it to be like right, right around here. So I have one end and I'll do the other end where I want it to see how far to go in because I want this little chamber area to be about two inches long. The part where it cuts into it. Then you're going to want to make one that goes right down the side. You could do just the whole side right here, but I've, I did that for a while and just kind of, it's just kind of a, too much of a problem for me sometimes. And basically we're going to go to the top part and go from the top down. So basically a whole quarter of it, if you will, of the tube is actually going to be open up as like a little chamber area. And you just kind of don't want it to make it like too bad, if you will. Just don't want to make it to like too closed, if you can see that. We're gonna cut that open with a pair of scissors. And basically, this is the part that gets a little tricky sometimes. Cause you really only need, cause you wanna make sure this is perfect cause once you cut it into it, there is no real easy way to fix this. And basically you wanna stick one end in one of the edges and you just kinda wanna closely, like kinda chip away at this. And boom, we got our chamber area. And basically you want to take this tube right here, which is the inner one, or the one that we, our unit, and we just kind of want to put it in here and we see where it comes in at. This is perfect in my opinion. It's long. And the best part is if you have, it's too long, you can actually trim a part of this off because we're going to need to have a piece off that cuts off and, um, Basically that goes into like a little blow tube thing. Or I think I should just do it like this. Basically you wanna trim part of this off and have it go up. And that'll be where it'll go into your mouth and you can blow, basically do like a blow dart thing. Um, and basically that's the, this is the basic principle of how a sniper, of how a gun works or pick a sniper up. Sorry, I'm trying to fix, just fix something. And now, now that we got that out of the way, we're going to, we're going to basically take a spot right here. We're going to, no, no, yeah, we're going to do that last. Now that we've done this, we're going to take all these extra tubes that we have right here and make a stock. The way I like to do mine is I did do a little triangle one where I did it like this, kind of like what you normally would, but I found that's like not a good idea. And, um. One thing you want to do is you kind of want to take your, like your hand and put one on one of them and see where it holds out and stuff. Cause that'll be your, like your front handle and you may have to put extra tape here so the thing doesn't come undone. Kind of just want to tape the whole thing up. And here, if you you can use a measuring tape if you want, cause I found that my my hands roughly like I like to keep this in about like four pieces, four inch pieces, cause that's where your hand is gonna go on the front end of here. So we're gonna measure out four inches or so, cause this is eleven, so we'll be able to get two of these. And that was my phone going off. Basically you want to do that, a uh, little four inch piece and we're going to trim that or cut that off and we're going to use that for the, uh, turn this into two pieces because we're going to need this for where my hand is going to go for when you grip onto the sniper rifle. And basically you want to kind of angle that like right wherever you want to put it right here like, like right here or something like that, like right here, like there, even though I said like 20 times already. Boom. Now we got that out of the way. Now we're going to do this again on another one and get four inch pieces. 
I this stock would be bigger, but I find this I like the short body one just because it uses less materials and it kind of looks cooler. And so we have two four inch pieces and we're gonna do that again right here to kind of trim it up. Okay, now that we've got the four inch pieces, we're actually going to take some tape and kind of tape these together. Um, now that we just kind of want to do this a couple times. Now that we got the two pieces, we have them right here and we just kind of want to, let's do the easy end first, which is put one where the, at the end of the stock, if you will, just kind of put one right here and I might actually put another one right here or double this up actually. Now that I think about it, I should have done, yeah, actually I'll do it like this. I have it like this, I'll usually have like, I like to brace this up to make it stronger. So we have that, but I'm going to actually tape this up first just because that'll make it easier. Okay, now I got that out of the way. Now we're going to put one right here. We're going to put a piece of tape that goes over this way and one side with that way. And it doesn't have to be excessively long. It can be really short. It just has to be enough to go over the main piece and go to the other side. So it doesn't really need a lot. And now we're going to have one go this way. And there, we got one half of the stock done, and now we have to do the other half. And this might be a good spot to, to stop it right here and just kind of make sure where you want to put it. Like, you could do it like this, like I do. I could do it like this and make it shorter, or I can do it like this and make it shorter so I can just have a piece go across like this and kind of strengthen it. Which I might actually do now that I think about it. Actually, I think we will do that. Now we just want to put that out of the way. Let me prove the mag, mag blah, blah, blah. Just kind of want to do that. Now that we got that out of the way, now we're going to take another piece and we're going to do it like this. Make a short square stock, make it short and simple. Now that we did that, and if you want to, you could put a piece right here to help strengthen it, just like a little piece like this. And 
and boom, we got a sock done. Simple as that. And we're gonna have one other piece, and we're almost out of tape. Taper. Yeah, almost out of tape on this roll of tape, which is good because I have another one right here. And now we got the stock. We basically got the gun, the basic structure of the gun done. Like this. Now that we have that on, we're going to take the smaller piece right here and we're going to, as I said, we're going to basically put it in here and try to figure out where we want to. Now that we got that done, basically we see where it is and you want to... Um, Take like your pen, like I said earlier. Let's. Sorry if it's not focused. We basically want to mark it off, like right here, that it this is where it goes in, and we can basically maybe trim it there or trim it actually right around here, and add a piece and angle it upwards. You see. Now that we have that out of the way, we can just basically do that and basically angle it, but we need to tape this up a little bit because we don't want that piece of paper just flying, monkeying about. And we basically have to angle this and we may have to trim this smaller piece. Sorry about that. Just gonna wanna make a little nice diagonal trim with your scissors like that. So that way we can essentially just kind of put it right here and boom, we're done. Then we just got to tape it on there. Whoa, and this thing is going on for longer than I thought it would be. And that's why we have this other piece. We're going to maybe make, take a couple extra pieces along this entire thing and basically make sure it's make sure it's strengthened properly we don't want this to come flying off and we're also gonna i'm gonna show you how to like basically put a piece of tape where the mouthpiece would be so that way you don't when you blow on it your saliva or your spit doesn't just like weaken it and cause it to fall out because these paper guns do degrade over time degradation and we just kind of want to put a little piece right here, just kind of wrap it around like that, and we're done. And that's a little long, so I'm going to trim that off. And basically what we're going to do here is we're going to basically kind of push it inwards like this. Kind of like that. And just kind of use like maybe your pinky or something. In this case, we're going to use this scissors and just kind of... Actually, better yet, we're going to use this. Okay, now that we got this part done with the sniper rifle, we're gonna make a scope. One of the things you wanna make is you could you wanna take a net, make an extra tube or something that you spare, or just make a random one. You kinda wanna tape up all the lines on one end because you're gonna need that. And you're gonna take a piece of paper, a regular full size one, and instead of doing like a really small one, we're gonna make a really big one. Basically like this, you want it to be like maybe an inch in diameter, three quarters of an inch. It honestly depends up to you. The bigger the scope is, the more air view, bigger view you'll have so you don't have to worry about tunnel vision as much. And you basically want to tape it up like this. Same thing as what we've always been doing. And... Boom, we're done. And boom, we're done. And basically, now you want to find out where do you want to put it. Do you want to put it like right here? Do you want to put it right here? Which I'm going to put it like right here for purposes, just so it's closer to my eyes so I can get a better view. And basically, that's what this little... Wow, just fail after fail after fail. Now, this is, we're gonna take maybe, maybe a quarter of an inch. You wanna take like, take two or three of these things and these are gonna be your spacers because you could put the scope right onto it if you wanted to. I mean, if you really wanted to. 
And the best part is this scope is somewhat accurate, you know, because I've tested it. But you got to have, um, the closer it is to the barrel, though, the more accurate it's going to be. So just keep that in mind. And basically, now that we got that out, we're going to take some tape. And we just kind of want to take, like, a nice, simple piece, like a small piece right here. Put it flat on the table there and just kind of basically do this. And you want to flip it to the other side and do the same thing. Okay, make sure now that we got that out of the way, you want to do that again. Okay, now that we got that out of the way, now we're going to take our tube right here and we're just going to tape it onto this, like this. I want it to be more like this so the scope is closer to my face. And we're going to take pieces of tape and we're going to do basically do the same thing, just kind of do this. And what you may want to do is when you're taping this, you want to put something, well I'll show you in a little bit. You kind of want to make sure this is as like as close as possible to the center. And Okay, sorry about that. What's the wrong thing? You basically want to put a piece right here so that way this doesn't kind of fall apart on you or come a piece on you to kind of cross brace it. And what you want to do is you want to make sure that it's straight like I'm going to right now. This part you're going to have to, I can't show you how to do this exactly because this is going to be different for each of us. For everyone who does this. And then what you want to do is you want to take like some old piece of paper. And we're actually going to put crosshairs on here. Yes, I said that right. And we'll, the way this works is we're going to make really thin pieces. It doesn't have to be exceptionally long. You want to try to make it like the thinner the better. But you also want it to make sure that it's strong. Boom, and we're done. And so you want to take one piece, tape it up, kind of put it on the edge. Do you want to do that the other way? See, we have one so far. That's one crosshair. Sorry about this. This is kind of hard. Oh. And that's basically how we do it.
And what we're mostly going to do is instead of adding a skin, I'm also going to, actually I'm going to work on that one thing I talked about where we're going to make a piece that goes in here to make like a little skeleton thing. Now this one, thinking back now I should have used, done another piece, but then again we have this one, we kind of want this one to be loose, so we're going to have to make another one, even though we should have used the thing earlier to make one. Then again, it has to be smaller to fit in to begin with. I want to make this one as, like, smart as you can possibly be, because it has to fit in that end piece. Nope, it doesn't fit. But then again, that's okay. I have to make several of these smaller ones. Loosen it up a bit, open it up a little bit. So you want this to be not like super loose where it'll just fall out. But you also actually kind of want to do one end for now just to see how this fits. So you want this to be a little bit more loose. Yeah, like right about there should be good. So we're just going to want to take that corner piece now that we put it in here and it realized it fits. This is what we're going to use. Good thing I messed up earlier because then we can use all these other pieces as like the frames, if you will, for another one. So, because we're going to have like, just kind of trim one of these up actually. I got this old scrap piece of paper right in, and this is going to be perfect for what I have in mind. You just kind of want to trim this off, make it square, because we're going to make another piece right here. We're going to use this smaller one, or this bigger one, just kind of roll it over, because this is going to be our, our pivot point, if you will, that'll hold this, because this little cross beam that I'm making is going to be movable, so it'll be able to move freely to, well it's easier just to show you. Boom, now that we got that out of the way, just trim up this piece. We're actually going to trim this one in half. Just got to find my measuring tape and mark the middle point. I'm actually going to mark a point at where it is. 
and see where it's we're actually gonna test this right over here to see where it fits on this mark so we kind of want to make it put this five and a half mark right here right on the line and we can see it's a little longer so we may need to shorten it a little bit so we can make this next thing right now we could make this five inches instead of five and a half so that'll give us some edge Now that we got that, I'm like, oh, we need some more tape on it to make sure. Now we also got this bigger piece right here. This way this works is. gonna Okay, we need to find a piece that'll go across the brace like this. We want something like that. What we want to do is we want this middle piece to be right here, so we'll trim this thing in half. Just enough where it'll be like this. See? See, this is a little too hard. We need to trim this off a bit. this out of the way we can finally add these pieces we'll just add one for now and sh we need to trim this again just to be safe I'm gonna need to trim it again Got that out of the way we're gonna do another piece of tape this we're actually gonna put a cross beam between these two right here for strength Now we got that out of the way, we're gonna put a cross beam down here, trim it for strength. And it can be a little wide, it doesn't really matter because I kinda want it, want it to be a little wide. So we're gonna angle these, this paper a little bit. Never mind, we'll 
we'll just use another piece. Boom. Now that we got that out of the way, we're now that we got the piece, we're gonna tape this to this because this is gonna be our little entry piece. So we're gonna need a long piece of tape. We're gonna need one of these. Just kind of do it like this, right in this middle piece. That's the pivot point. Then we're gonna put this piece right here in the middle and tape it. Tape it like this, so it has this little pivot point. And we may need, you may not need to do one piece. We're actually going to need to do multiple just for strength. Because we want this to last. Now that we've got this out of the way, let's test it. Looks like I have to... What I was hoping... I was hoping I wouldn't have to deal with this. Let's take it out and no farther image. Boom! Boom! It's not perfect, but it gets the job done. Let's show you guys. Boom. And basically, that is, is the completion of it. It's very customizable, so you can add a different scope. You can add a handle or something like that. Um, hope you guys.